So researchers often talk about the whole being greater than the sum of the parts in mixed methods research. And you can uh, derive inferences from the qualitative component and derive inferences from the quantitative component. Tasha Curry and Tedley have introduced the concept of a meta-inference and this is an inference that's derived from the whole study. So let me give you an example of a meta-inference. We undertook a randomised control trial of leaflets that communicated uh, research evidence to women making decisions in their maternity care in the hope that the leaflets would help women to make informed choices in their maternity care. The randomised control trial showed that the leaflets did not work. Alongside the randomised control trial, an ethnographic study of observation of women, obstetricians and midwives and interviews with those people found that rather than informed choice being operated within maternity units, uh, informed compliance was in operation. That is that professionals were framing information so that women would make the decisions that professionals wanted them to make. So the, the inference from our overall study then was that uh, the leaflets did not work in maternity units operating in form compliance. Quite different from the, the blunt inference we had from the randomised control trial that the leaflets did not work. So it's very useful to think about meta-inferences within your mixed methods research so that you're thinking about the whole study and the insight you've gained from the whole study rather than simply the parts of it.